What is going on everybody, it's your favorite introvert here and today we're going to be talking about the camera settings for the Parrot Disco. Let's get into it. To get to the camera settings in the on-screen display, select the icon to the right of the camera and video slider at the top of the screen. First up, we'll talk about white balance. Select the AWD in the upper portion of the screen to get a drop-down to select the appropriate white balance for your environment. You can choose from auto white, tungsten bulb, daylight, cloudy, or white fluorescent. Each setting changes the Kelvin or temperature control to give a warm or cool look depending on your environment. The next icon is only present while you are in picture mode. The DNG JPEG toggle button is selectable and a drop down is presented for you to choose what photo type you would like to shoot in. Your options are DNG, JPEG, or JPEG 180 degrees. The DNG setting automatically takes the full 180 degree photo, but gives you a lot more room to play with in the photo editor of your choosing. For reference, this is what the 180 degree photo looks like. To the left of the DNG JPEG button, you have the settings button. When pressed, this will take you to the drone's general settings screen. This is where you can adjust things like the performance, network, and controller settings. Moving to the upper left of the screen now, we have the back icon to exit the Disco's camera view and enter back into the Free Flight Pro app menu area. Continuing on in the center, here we have the picture and video toggle which slides to your desired option. Right next to it is your record timer and camera picture settings. This will show whether you are shooting in DNG or JPEG. And to the right of that, we have the camera, drone, screen, toggle, which changes the icon for photo mode or flight mode. You can start or continue to record video while you are in picture profile by selecting the record button on the controller and the red record will be visible on the screen. In the upper right corner you have your camera or record button where you can snap photos or start filming with the press of these buttons. This icon works in conjunction with the camera toggle in the center and the icons will match the selection. In the bottom left, we have our aperture indicator of 2.3 and frame rate of 30 frames per second. On the bottom right, we have the storage capacity available. In the center, we have our adjustable EV slider, which can be moved by pressing and sliding to the desired exposure value. However, changes only show once you release the press of your finger. It does not allow for a preview as you slide and hover, but hopefully this can be fixed in a future update. I hope this helps you out. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Give a thumbs up if you like the video and subscribe for more content. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next video.